doubt about it. All right, so uh, how would you like to get uh, free government money just for being a good citizen? Uh, that's the sales pitch uh, many Valley residents are getting right now, but as 300 Sides Gary Harper reports, he says it's a scam. I've told you about the federal grant scam before, but people continue to fall for it. And there's a couple of reasons why. Number one, these scammers, they are very convincing. They're also very persistent. The other reason is these victims, they just want money. Sherry Ledger, like a lot of folks, lives paycheck to paycheck. So when she got a phone call recently, and the guy on the other end said he had $9,000 in free federal grant money, that got Sherry's attention. Well, they said because I had paid all my bills on time and I was really good with my credit, that that's why they awarded it. The government to was people. wanting to kind of reward mm -hmm. you for being a good citizen. Correct. The caller was actually a scammer and claimed to be with an agency called the U.S. Government Grant Department. He said in order for Sherry to get all that money, she had to pay a $150 transaction fee. You were pretty excited. Well, yeah. <laughs> you were going to get $9,000. So just like she was told to do, Sherry went to her nearest retailer and purchased $150 in iTunes cards. She then scratched off the back of the security code and revealed the numbers to the scammer, giving him full access to the $150. Sherry thought she was done, but the con man then said she had to pay $900 in insurance because it was an out-of-state transaction. They have to have this insurance payment, and he told me it was 10% of the amount. So 10% of 9,000 is 900. $900. And I just told him, I don't have that kind of money. Even after the scammer reduced the insurance fee down to $425, Sherry hung up and called her bank, which confirmed she had been scammed and that there was no free government grant agency. Sherry filed a police report and also contacted three in her side. And the very day we showed up to talk to Sherry, look who called. Is that your phone? You need to get that? Yeah. Maybe that's her friend. And what do you know? It was, in fact, that scammer sniffing around yeah. looking to convince Sherry to send in that $425 fee. So I was expecting a call back yesterday to make the payment of $425. But since you did not call me back, that's the reason I'm calling you back today. We listened to the scammer sales pitch, and that's when it came time for a little confrontation. Why do you do this to people? Why do you do this? Do you have any Yes, you're a fraud and a scam. There's no such thing as free government grants. You know that, and you're ripping people off, and you should be ashamed of yourself. After realizing he had been exposed, the scammer hangs up on me. Sherry says she can't believe how persistent and convincing these scammers are. What do you think about that? He called back again while we were here and still tried to play the game with me. Do because I have any proof? they got me for 150 I suppose they figured I was still... A sucker. <laughs> yeah, they wanted more, didn't they? Yes, they did. Unbelievable. Well, that scammer hasn't called back, but now she's getting phone calls from someone claiming to be with the Internal Revenue Service, saying that she owes $4,000 in back taxes and that she needs to wire them that money. That's another scam you need to look out for and not fall victim to. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.